Hola! Today I talk with Dylan Flax, who had the opportunity to go to Madrid and be part of a group that talked about possible economic changes for Europe. Money? Travel? Talking? You can see why I had to ask. Welcome to the show, Dylan. Thank you very much for having me, Lillian. It's great to be here. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. So I'm a 21-year-old uh, um, <laughs> PR department specialist at Camp Barry. Um, in the off-season, I'm a student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where I'm a rising senior majoring in economics and Spanish. Um, besides Spanish, I also speak Hebrew and Arabic. So I know three foreign languages in addition to English, which is actually my native language. Elaborate. So I actually went to a Jewish day school as a kid. So since kindergarten, um, from kindergarten to eighth grade, half of my day was taught in English and the other half in Hebrew. So I actually learned Hebrew before the other foreign languages, although my dad um, is Argentine. Both of his parents are from Argentina, and he was actually the first one in his family born in the United States, his older brother being born in Buenos Aires, Argentina. So I've been hearing Spanish in my house since I was born. I never really spoke it with my father, but hearing it really gave me a good ear for the language. So when I went to learn it in school, it actually came very easily. And then after learning a couple foreign languages, learning another is um, a little bit easier because you know the techniques and you know, uh, you know what to practice and what to really look for. And um, so when I started learning Arabic, it was a little bit easier as well because it's a Semitic language. Um, it's derived from Aramaic, just like Hebrew is. So I really, really knew what to look for, and the vocabulary is quite similar. So it was not that bad, and I liked it a lot. Why is your major in school important to your trip to Madrid? So I don't know if you know this or if anybody else out there knows this, but um, Spain and Greece, as well as the rest of Europe, just had a major economic crisis, um, pretty similar to the one that happened in the U.S. And um, it had a lot to do with parts of their economy that were dysfunctional, including the job market that was a little bit inflated and um, disproportionate to the amount of people who wanted jobs. And um, I thought it was very important for me, especially as an economics and Spanish major, to uh, go over to Madrid to this program at a think tank um, run by the former prime minister, actually, Jose Maria Aznar, and, um, you know, be able to just hear a little bit about what they're doing to try to right the ship, like we did in the United States, and, um, you know, how they're going to get back on the right track economically, um, as well as uh, fiscally and also socially, because there's a lot of social problems there as well. Did you feel like you made a difference when you went? Um, I definitely felt like everything I did had a direct impact in some way or another on policies that are currently being formed in the European Union as well as in Spain. Um, I don't know that the impact is going to take effect immediately, but I definitely see somewhere down the road the publication that's produced by the think tank um, that comes from this program, the Campufias program, um, having an impact definitely in uh, the near future, if not the immediate future. Why is it important for children to learn another language? I think with social media and the world being as connected as it is today, it's important for everyone to know more languages just to be able to make the world a more connected place. You know, we're already heading in that direc direction with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of these things. Travel is a lot easier and more accessible now for everyone. So I think for us to be able to learn about a different culture, the first thing you have to do is learn the other culture's language just to be able to communicate with them as effectively as possible. Do you have any advice for children who want to learn other languages? My advice to children who want to learn other languages is to always practice and to stick with it. Find someone else who speaks the language and be able to talk to them every single day. It's very, very important that you really keep up on the practice. And also, my other advice is to not think about it before you speak. When you speak English, if you're a native English speaker, you don't think about the words that are going to come out of your mouth before you say them. Well, I mean, hopefully you think about them a little bit, but... <laughs> What I'm saying is, you know, you don't think about like the grammatical structure. Your mind knows what sounds right if you've learned enough of a foreign language. It's muscle memory. So when you're about to speak, just kind of let it go and it'll flow out correctly. Do you have anything else you'd like to tell our listeners? I just want to say, uh, you know, make sure that you do go out there and learn a lot about other people's cultures. It'll help you out in the long run in with career opportunities, as well with just being a more effective communicator in general. You know, um, I think that it's extremely important these days to be able to communicate well with everybody in the world and um, the way the world is headed, hopefully at some point we'll be able to be a full world community and be effectively run. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much for having me. I hope you can be a good communicator too and see why I had to ask.